Man, it's hotter than hell. You're the one that wanted to move down here. Mom said you didn't have to, but you did anyway. And now you're the one complaining. I told you, the further south you go, the hotter it gets. Sometimes even 100 degrees. You better get used to it. You sure they're ready for us? It's been two years. Oh yeah. They're ready. And we brought some friends with us. These Texans may remember the Alamo, but let's give them something else to remember Texas by. to another episode of RCW here on this Wednesday afternoon as we have the excellence of arrogance. Austin Lee coming out here now. Austin Lee, a few weeks ago, had spoken to someone backstage and we still don't know who that person is, but he had said something to him saying that things aren't really working. Whoever he was talking to, he was looking to improve his career and Jason Moreno's career, Glitz and Gucci, number one contenders once again for those RCW Tag Team titles, and they have yet to capture those titles despite having multiple chances. But Austin Lee right now has to keep his mind set on the contest at hand, and that is Jackson Cobb here tonight. We'll hear from the Brotherhood Later on tonight as well, in regards to their matchup at RCW Resolution of our New Year's special. Folks, you can catch the replay right now on my YouTube channel. As we have Jackson Cobb coming out here. Now Jackson Cobb was in the United States Championship Tournament when we had that title. He came close to winning that title, but now He's looking to possibly go for the Intercontinental Championship and uh, end the historic reign of Terry Hines Jr. Terry Hines Jr. has been absolutely unstoppable, it seems like. And well, you know, that's he's going to be a uh, guy that is that everybody's looking to take the title from. We have Austin Lee and Jackson Cobb here, folks. As the bell is rung and we are underway now. As Austin Lee with the quick strikes here. You notice that Jason Moreno is not at ringside as an insiguri there. Austin Lee called the excellence of arrogance for a reason. This man, first ever King of the Ring back in season 11 winning the world title over Brian Danielson at RCW Crossfire after winning that tournament. We might bring back that tournament in 2024 here. Once 2K24 releases, we may bring back that tournament. But right now we are on the road to RCW Legacy, which is going to be taking place in a few weeks time in Dublin, Ireland. RCW going international with that one as a couple of elbow drops there. Right to Jackson Cobb. Now Jackson Cobb has to find a way back in this right now. He's not looking too pretty right now here in this matchup. Right into the corner again. Austin Lee finds Jackson Cobb. Jackson Cobb, though, with a monkey flip from the corners there, Mux. Good to see you in here. Appreciate you joining us here today. We have Austin Lee and Jackson Cobb here in your opening contest. There's an insiguri right to the side of the head once again. Oh, but Jackson Cobb was going to take a breather on the outside, but decided not to. Okay. 
Now Austin Lee. Once again with the flurriness of strikes here. Look at that Michinuku driver right onto Jackson Cobb. Count of two and a kick out of two and a half. Gotta love it. Jackson Cobb is definitely a guy you do not want to mess with. Very old school technical wrestler. Shades of Kurt Angle a little bit. And I'm not just saying that because of the uh, tire that he's got. He has very much the skill and prowess of a uh, young Kurt Angle. And speaking of strength here, look at that brain buster. To the former world champion, and now Jackson Cobb has an opening. Look at that elbow drop from the top rope there. Into a cover here on the excellence of arrogance and a kick out of two. Austin Lee looking for a breather, but Jackson Cobb one step ahead. But hesitated a little bit there, and that gives Austin Lee an opening that he needs here. Now Austin Lee. Irish whip into the corner, sends Jackson Cobb right there in the corner. Now got him up on the top rope here. Austin Lee. The excellence of arrogance here. Look at this. Austin Lee with a superplex from the top. On to Jackson Cobb, and he may have gotten him there. Referee got to go all the way around to find perfect position, and that allows Jackson Cobb to kick out of two. Looking for that drop kick there. Nope. Chop from Jackson Cobb missed. And now Jackson. Look at this. The comeback starts now for Jackson Cobb. As he tried for a boot here, but Austin Lee caught it. Austin Lee tried to grab Jackson Cobb. Jackson Cobb slipped out. Look at this double underhook. Into a power bomb there. That's an interesting uh, way of doing that. As Jackson Cop is the former king of the ring in the corner. Look at this. Into the turnbuckle suplex. Into a bridge. Beautifully done. By Jackson Cobb and a kick out of two from Austin Lee. You got to love this man. What this man's doing right now. Look at this. Another suplex into another bridge here on Austin Lee and another kick out of two from Austin Lee. This man's still in it. I don't know how, but he is. Well, Austin Lee pumping up with adrenaline drop kick though. It was meant with a missile drop kick from Jackson Cop. He couldn't react. Enough there. Now look at this. Austin Lee has him in perfect position. Oh, but Austin Lee a little bit of mind games. It's now Austin Lee working on the outside now. Going for those elbow drops again. Count of 20 under RCW rules, folks. Once again, folks, we'll hear from the Brotherhood later on tonight. They have uh, a message in regards to what had occurred at RCW Resolution. Our New Year's special is a kick right to the face, right on the jaw. Of Jackson Cobb, he's got it! No, Jackson able to kick out it too once more. And now Austin Lee going up for his vintage. Double rotation moonsault. I don't know if he got all of it though. Jackson Cobb rolled over onto his back. Kick out from Jackson. 
Jackson Cobb rolled over onto his back. No, not Jackson. Jackson now sweeping the leg of the king of the ring. Now look at this, the angle slip! On to Austin Lee, and Austin Lee still in it. And the crowd wants it one more time. Let's see if Jackson Cobb has it in him. The excellence of arrogance. Maybe getting a little too arrogant here. There's that technical prowess working on that arm there. This has been very, very tough. For Austin Lee so far, this isn't smooth sailing for him. And oh, the kitchen sink right to the midsection. Now another suplex here into a bridge, into a cover, and a kick out of two. Only possibly could be going for that corner suplex again. Oh, Austin Lee though. Oh, got him with a knee. Austin Lee now oh, tried for something there, but Jackson Cobb caught him there. Both men going back and forth here. Has him in the corner again. And now here's that suplex, look at it. Roll through, boom! That suplex, he didn't hook the bridge this time though. Jackson Cobb, turn him around. Another suplex. Jackson Cobb has the biggest win of his career right now. as he beats the former King of the Ring and former world champ. Jackson Cobb is ready for Terry Hines Jr. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're gonna get to your next match momentarily. Listen, I got something to say, so I'm just gonna say it. Scarlet, there's no room for love in my world. There isn't. Whatever version of me you think exists in that little head of yours, it doesn't exist. It isn't real. And the sooner you realize that, the better off you'll be. So please, I beg you, don't fall for me. Why? Because you'll end up like me, deep in your own abyss with no way out. So preserve all the light that you have because the war with rapture is far from over. You got a target on your back. And my war, well, that's a different animal. And I can't stop. I know that. But I want you to be careful. And with that said, I need you to walk away from this. From whatever you have in your mind about us. Because your mind needs to be clear and your soul needs to remain intact. 
Don't let it take yours. Like it took mine. You don't get it, do you, Brian? I've been where you are. I watch my own mother down bottles of alcohol and then yell at me when we didn't have money. Yell at me, but I tried to save us. And I had to leave. I had to leave for my own sanity. Whatever I had left. You may think I don't know who you are. But I do. And I don't want to fight this. Without you. I'm sorry I got you involved in this. But now that we're both in it. We both had to finish it. Another strong words from Scarlet and Brian Outlaws. We have a public enemy. Justin and Ricardo Rose, the former RCW tag champs. And we'll see who's on their hit list this time here tonight. As they look to get back in the title picture now, it is Glitz and Gucci, Austin Lee, and Jason Moreno, who are number one contenders for those titles at RCW Legacy in Dublin, Ireland in just a few weeks' time. That'll close out season 15, and it will also close out the life cycle for WWE 2K23 as we look forward to the next game releasing in March. So, we only got a few weeks left, folks, but one week at a time. It's Public Enemy. Get ready here. To face the Chess Club and Sean Saban and Bishop Rhyme, the nephew of Jacob Rhyme, of Rhyme and Reason. Now these guys had made their debut at RCW Summer Blaze against the Brotherhood and unfortunately lost. But one thing's for sure, these guys aren't gonna give up that easily. And neither is the Brotherhood. But they can't worry about the Brotherhood right now. They have to worry about the task at hand and that is Public Enemy. It's the chess club. Are ready. Looks like Ricardo is starting this one off. With Bishop Ryan. Look at that leaping DDT there. To the powerhouse. Ricardo Rose, the quick and agile of the two brothers here. Justin Rose helping out his brother Ricardo here as they look for a double team early on. Referee sees that tag. Look at this. A little shimmy from Ricardo. There it is. And here comes Justin. Wow. Now Justin uh, and Bishop in here. The battle of the powerhouses here. Look at that. Running over. Justin Rose. Now Sean Saban in there. Sean Saban blocking. Sean Saban with the hip toss able to get out of that. Saban tried for the kick there. Missed it. And the crowd not being so receptive to either of these two teams is, oh! Justin Rose showing off that power. Irish whip into the ropes now. Look at that flapjack! As Ricardo gets tagged in, oh, and was met with a single leg drop kick from Sean Saban. 
neck breaker. Remember, the chess club loved to go for that king's end. It's won them a couple of matches as of late. And I don't think that was the plan for Bishop there as he threw him a little too hard there into the turnbuckle. But Bishop still with the advantage right now as the chess club. Running away with this is Bishop! Look at that! You can call that checkmate right there. Bishop with the flying ability. Never seen a big man like that go flying like that. Got him against the ropes now. Look at this. Woo! There's Ricardo. And oh, he got caught into a bear hug here. A bear hug and Justin has to save the matchup. And now Justin taken out. Now going for the pin here, going for the cover. Kick out at two on Ricardo. And look at this. Look at that knee! Wow! Right across the chin of Ricardo Rose and just able to get the shoulder up at two is Ricardo. And it seems the crowd's loving this one as tag team wrestling chants echo through the RCW fandom as, oh, what a body slam. And oh, Sean Saban though, Sean Saban, two, kick out. Justin Rose couldn't get there in time. Tried for a chop. Oh, Justin Rose, though, able to help out. Ricardo, oh! Looked like a cutter of some sort. It's Bishop with a clothesline. Saving his partner. Allowing his partner some recovery time. Partner still dazed though, but just enough time for him to recover. And now Sean Saban, both men colliding. Crucial mistakes here, hip toss. Sean Saban with a kick and now going right after it. Look at that DDT. And that planted Ricardo. As he's out for the time being, and now Bishop taking out Justin. They're doing a great job right now trying to keep Ricardo isolated. Ricardo trying to get back in, oh, but he gets thrown into the steps for his trouble. Ricardo busted open there. Now he's going right after Sean Saban, and Sean Saban taken out. Now this could be the time that they need. Oh, but Bishop, Bishop knew he had an idea. What a power slip. Now trying to make the hot tag is Ricardo. Ricardo though able to dodge it. Oh, planning. Bishop there. As now they look for the hit list. The hit list on Bishop Rhyme. But there's Sean Saban 
Bishop Ryan getting bailed out there. Very lucky. Once again, Sean Saban gets sent to the floor. Justin Rose tried for the spine buster. Bishop Ryan, though, able to get out of it. And now Bishop. Oh, what a power slam of his own. Look at that. Bishop Rhyme with the power. But Justin Rose, though, coming back now. Look at that getting out of Dodge. Oh! Look at the air raid crash! There's now Bishop Rhyme. Oh! The Anaconda Vice now. The Anaconda Vice! And Justin Rose is tapping. Justin Rose just tapped to the Anaconda Vice as the chess club. Pick up another huge win over the former tag champs. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to hear from the Brotherhood in just a few moments. There's no one left. Absolutely no one. Fear may have had her number at our sea of you resolution. But one thing's for sure, the Brotherhood remains stronger than ever. We don't care about accolades. Business is business. That's all there is to it. And the Brotherhood, no matter what gold we hold, we are much stronger than materialistic possessions. Terry Hayes Jr. has dominated the Intercontinental Division and will continue to do so. But one thing's for sure, the Brotherhood shall never die. Strong words from the Brotherhood right there as we are here with your next matchup as we got five the former tag champs. Phoenix Nitro, Brandon Collins, and Aaron Matthews, simply better. Trailing behind him. What's up, Jay? Good to see you in here. Good to see all of you guys here live with us here on Live Space for another episode of RCW here today. Now Vibe, they've been in shambles. Brandon Collins kicking out Logan Paul out of Vibe. And they will have a match at RCW Legacy in Dublin, Ireland in a few weeks time, folks. As we have Bobby Saturn of Cosmic coming out here. Now, his tag team partner, Derek Goodman, is not out here with him tonight. But Jay Jin is. The blessed warrior, Jay Jin, coming out as backup. And the reason being is because Bobby Saturn had took on Brad Williams, the rebel, at RCW Resolution, our New Year's special, folks. And Bobby Saturn was viciously attacked a few weeks before resolution. And Jay Jin will face Brad Williams at RCW Legacy as well. That matchup coming in a few weeks time to close out the life cycle of WWE 2K23 as we are on the road to 2K24, which will release in March. We have Phoenix Nitro and Bobby Saturn. Here we go, as Bobby Saturn charges right in. Onto Nitro. And now, oh, what a release German suplex from Bobby Saturn. As Nitro, not starting off too good here. As Bobby Saturn with the quickness and that elevated flatliner there, that flatliner from a knee position. Is now Nitro now with a couple of strikes of his own. You also have Chris Danger as well. 
in vibe, but he is not out here tonight. We haven't seen danger in a couple of weeks. You know, there's a little bit of concern there. We have your main event coming up next, a mixed tag matchup. Scarlett Nova and Brian Outlaw taking on Carmelo Hayes and Buckets, Savannah Williams. After Savannah had warned Scarlett last week, we tried to warn you, but now your rapture's problem. That all women's faction that debuted at RCW Afterlife. And all of this, folks, is over on my YouTube channel. So if you have no idea what I'm speaking of right now, you can watch everything from all the way from season one, all the way till now, over on the YouTube channel. You don't have to. You don't have to watch it all the way from the beginning, but okay, that was odd. That was a weird glitch there. Wouldn't be a 2K game if it didn't if, if that didn't happen. Wouldn't be a 2K game if that didn't happen. As Nitro now taking Bobby Saturn over to the apron. Now back in he goes as the blow to the back of Bobby Saturn. Now Bobby very, very quick on his feet. He likes to do a lot of high-flying maneuvers. Phoenix Nitro, more of the powerhouse, and there's that power right there with a power slam and a kick out at one. And now Bobby. Bobby with the knees right to the midsection. He's got Nitro leading there, and oh, what a drop kick. From Bobby Saturn there is Bobby. On a whole nother level right now is a single star. And another power slip. From Nitro as he tries to slow things down a bit. He's got Bobby, oh my! He's throwing him off the top rope there in the moon salt. Beautifully done, trying to get this done early. And a kick out at one. Now Nitro trying to go for brain dead, but couldn't quite hit it. The release German suplex from Bobby as Bobby's feeling it now. Nitro up to back to a vertical base now. Is simply better AM and Brandon Collins there. Watch along. It's Nitro with a couple of shoulder tackles in the corner. Referee here obstructing the view of you guys right now. There he goes. The elbow strikes, look at this. Aaron Matthews looking pumped up here. Look at that slam, look at that, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And Aaron Matthews throwing Bobby Saturn back in. As that should have ended in a disqualification there, but referee's gonna let this go. As Nitro slips. Flips out of that one. Now Nitro. Nitro with a crack the dough. Right on to Bobby Saturn. Kick out at two from Bobby. Wow. As Bobby gets up to his feet, tried for the knee. Nitro got out of the way, and now Nitro running over Bobby. Moonsault again. Now Nitro looking for brain dead again, but Bobby Saturn. Bobby, look at the acrobatics of this man. Head scissor takedown into a drop kick to Nitro. And now Bobby sure as hell feeling it now. Look at this. Bobby Saturn. The guy that's ready, look at the meteor strike. He wasted no time with, for that one. Two kick out from Nitro. He didn't even need much of a running start there. He usually hits that from the corner. But oh, what a kick to the side of the head. 
And Aaron Matthews playing distraction as Bobby Saturn hits the knee. I don't know if that distraction helped Nitro at all. Because now Bobby gonna fly on Nitro. That distraction did not pay off at all as Bobby Saturn is absolutely killing it right now here on Nitro. Count out of 20 under RCW rules. That rule change coming in season seven, folks. And now Bobby Saturn resets it. And look at this, German suplex to Bobby. And now Nitro got up Bobby. Bobby though, slipping out of it, inverted TDT on the outside on the concrete. There's not much protecting these two men. Oh, what a knee as he came in, charging in with that one. As Jay Jin watches on, Brandon Collins can't do anything here. If he does, Phoenix Nitro is disqualified. Count of 10 here. As Bobby Saturn throwing everything he has at Nitro. Now Bobby came up short in his matchup at Resolution against Brad Williams, but those two fought like hell. And now Bobby, we're gonna dive again. Oh, Nitro got it! He hit the meteor strike all the way up from the top. Bobby Saturn hit the meteor strike all the way up from the top, and now Nitro in huge trouble right now as the back first into the barricade. A switch has been flipped in Bobby Saturn. I have never seen a man like this. As he resets the count again. Bobby Saturn is fuming. And Nitro doesn't even know what hit him. I have never seen Bobby hit the meteor strike like that, ever. And now Bobby's going up top again. But there's Nitro. Nitro can't get it going. It's the elbow right to the face and a kick out at two. Nitro avoids that right now. Bobby Saturn. Avoiding that as well. Release German suplex. And again, Nitro barely able to get up. As Nitro looking for brain dead. Got it. And there's only one thing left to do here. Crack the dome! And a little bit of a celebration right afterwards. Bobby! Out and two. I don't even know what this man's made of. But whatever it is, I kind of want some of it. And Brandon Collins coming over and supporting Phoenix Nitro. We've only seen one interference, but that didn't really impact the matchup one bit.
That little distraction by Aaron Matthews. That did not really help out Nitro in the slightest. It was Nitro having a chair as Nitro resets the count again. And these guys are on the outside here. Right into the apron. Oh my! Uh oh. Nitro clearing the table. Oh! Bobby Saturn! Diving in right onto Nitro. And Nitro wasn't expecting that at all. It's now Bobby. The knees to the midsection. Oh, and that drop kick. Oh no, here it comes again. The meteor strike. And Bobby gets it. But what a war from Nitro and Bobby Saturn. There was a couple of shenanigans, but Bobby ultimately won this one. As Bobby Saturn looks, looks past Brad Williams and into his future. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're gonna get to your main event next. All right, folks, we are here at your main event as we have this mixed tag matchup coming your way next. As we have Brian Outlaw coming out here now earlier tonight, Brian Outlaw and Scarlett had spoken yet again. And Brian said to Scarlett, there's no room for love in my world. You don't want to be around me. You don't want to be with a man like me because then you'll end up like me. Deep in your own abyss of misery with no way out. As Brian Outlaw comes out here now, folks. What led to this matchup was this tweet from last night. And it was this from Savannah Williams that she said, we tried to warn you, Scarlett. Now you're in Rapture's crosshairs and your boyfriend ain't coming to save you now. Mello and I are gonna end this love affair tonight. There's not many seconds left on the shot clock. So you better take your shot while you still can. As we have Scarlet Nova coming out here first, coming out here second here. And speaking of Scarlet Nova, folks, you can pick up this exclusive t shirt right now, the End of the Cosmos t shirt, right on my merch store, on my fourth wall merch store. There's a link here live on Live Space. Just go to shop right there and you'll be able to find it. If you're watching on YouTube after this airs and after this has been uploaded, then there's a link in on my channel somewhere and you can get grab that in support of Scarlet Nova. Thanks to Fusey for designing all the emotes and everything. It's absolutely amazing. So you guys can go ahead and grab that if you would like. So we got Scarlet Nova ready to go. And now they will face Carmelo Hayes. And when he shoots, he don't miss. And we'll see if he can hit all of his shots. And see if that field goal percentage will stay 100%. Here tonight. Following this matchup. What's up, Ghost Strats? Good to see you in here, man. I've been seeing some of the clips you've been posting. Great work, man. Great work. Keep grinding. Keep doing it. As we have Carmelo Hayes ready to go. In this mixed tag matchup. 
And his partner will be none other than Buckets, Savannah Williams. Now, Savannah already warned Scarlett last week, telling her, we already warned you, Scarlett. Now your rapture's problem now. Savannah looks to get her career back on track here. We'll see. Now the mixed tag rules are as follows. The men must fight the men and the women must fight the women. So in the event one of the ladies gets tagged in, the uh, other woman on the team has to come in as a result of the rules. So those are the rules here for the mixed tag matchup as we have Carmelo Hayes and Brian Outlaw starting this one off. As Carmelo Hayes avoids certain doom for now, wrist lock takedown. You can also get the DDT shirt on the merch store as well. That is one of the Brian Outlaw merches. Savannah tagged herself in, so now Scarlett's got to come in. And now Scarlett taking care of Mello. Now Savannah and Scarlett have faced off before at RCW Eternal. In that interstellar combat on the moon. And now it was Savannah that sent Scarlet through that spotlight and put her into a medically induced coma and put her in the hospital for quite some time. And Scarlet hasn't forgotten about that, and I don't know how you can. We're just glad Scarlet is still moving and breathing with us. And Savannah with a submission on the outside. That's not going to do anything for her as far as winning the matchup, but I like the thinking. And Scarlett with trying to go for the strikes here. Two, count of two, almost, almost had. Scarlet there. That was close. Now the men have to come in by default as it Mello makes the tag. Ryan wasn't ready for that. Mello! Nobody home there. And a DDT. Right to Carmelo Hates. Now Mello with a choke slant. And Mello now with the pin and Scarlett breaking up the breaking up the pin there for Brian. Now it's a very very strange relationship between these two. I don't know how you would describe it by any means. Is Scarlett having to get in as Savannah makes the tag? But it's a very very weird relationship here. As we got a cover and a kick out of two after that knee strike there, but Scarlett has involved herself in Rapture, the all-female faction led by Christina Wolf. Sky Outlaw and Luna Outlaw, the sisters of Brian Outlaw have somehow gotten involved in it. And now Brian Outlaw doesn't even know his own sisters anymore as Brian Outlaw Takes out Carmelo Hayes on the outside, but you know, Brian earlier on tonight was trying to tell Scarlett, you don't want to love somebody like me. You don't. You don't want to be with someone like me. Whatever you, whatever man you think I am isn't who I am, so. 
He basically told her to drop all of that. He's the type of guy that doesn't believe in fairy tales. He doesn't believe in happily ever after. And he tries to tell her that kind of shit doesn't exist in the real world. Or in his world, as he puts it. Is the correction here, right onto Carmelo Hayes. Let's see if Scarlett and Brian can finish this as they go. Look at these two, a cohesive unit. They take one look at each other, DDT, both of them. That planted Savannah. Two kick out from Savannah. Savannah's still in it. As Scarlett. Trying to put this whole thing with Savannah behind her. And she has Rapture to worry about now. All of those ladies are ladies you do not want to be around. And you do not want to cross them either. Look at these chops here. There's now Scarlet. And Savannah in a perfect position here, looking for the UFO cutter. This is vintage Scarlet right here. And she can't be wasting any time. It's the end of the cosmos. It's ready, no. Savannah got out of it. Scarlett tried for it again, and Savannah able to get out of it again. And the spinning heel kick connects. And Savannah. Possibly tried to go for the play of the day. That's her sister's maneuver. Her sister Jordan, the former women's champion. And Savannah tried to tag in Mello, but Mello still sitting there. And I think Scarlett sees him. Scarlett. Taking out Mello. At least for the time being right now. The jawbreaker. It's now Savannah. Tried to take a breather as Scarlett gonna dive right onto Savannah. She didn't go far because the body of Carmelo Hayes blocked a little bit of that impact. But these ladies are fighting like hell out here. It's looking for the TDT. Mello got to be careful around these ladies here. Just let them fight it out. As a man, you do not want to get involved in a chick fight. That's not a good idea. It usually doesn't end well for you. Now you got Mello back in. Scarlet got to get out of it. Oh, what a code breaker. Mello had that one dialed up. Kick out for Bryant. Uh-oh. He's looking for it. Looking for nothing but net. And when he shoots, he don't miss. Nothing but net. One, two, kick out for Bryant at the last second. And he gets up. He gets up. Correction on DeMello. It's 
Scarlett's out of it. And now Brian's got to go up top. Oh, this is vintage Brian right here. Jailbreak DDT. To win it for him and Scarlett. No, Savannah's there to break it up. Scarlett wasn't there. And that allowed Savannah to take this one over. It's now Savannah got to come in from that tag. Look at this. Scarlett wants to end Savannah here. And I don't blame her after all that trauma and turmoil she has had to deal with. Not only from Rapture, but Savannah started this whole thing. And I don't think Scarlett's ever been the same since then. She's now looking for it. The UFO cutter again onto Savannah. But she ain't done there. Scarlett with a clothesline to the outside. Mello's right there. Mello's taken out again. Now look at this, Scarlett, she's got Savannah up against the announce table. Bang, face first. Goes Savannah off of the announce table there. And now Savannah getting Scarlett back in. Oh, Scarlett, Scarlett though, got her up. Into the Cosmo on Savannah. Hook at the leg, one, two to win it. Kick out from Savannah. I don't know how Savannah's still surviving this one. But Scarlett is absolutely dominating right now. She is killing everybody. Mello's getting beat up. Savannah's getting beat up. Everybody's get everybody's getting a piece. Well, Savannah might have been trying to go for top of the key, but Scarlet, Scarlet can't get anything going. Tried for it. Once again, goes out again. It's, oh, Savannah with the bait. She had to step around her own partner and that allows Scarlett to take advantage of CDT. Right onto the announce table goes Savannah once more. And it's all about just punishment now. And Scarlet takes out Mello. Looking for another into the cosmos. But she ain't done there. Tried for another. Oh, but Savannah. Tried to escape it. 
Well, Savannah mis miscalculated it. Both ladies miscalculating kicks here. Caught a little bit. Lie detector. Both ladies absolutely destroying each other right now. And Brian loves just sitting and watching. It's the UFO cutter. Lands! It's now Mello. Once again taken out. Uh-oh. And Savannah now. Savannah with a combination. Now Savannah, she missed. Miscalculated it again. These rookie mistakes are gonna definitely hurt Savannah down the line. I haven't seen her try to hit the alley-oop yet or the top of the key. She might be going for it now. Nope, the elbow drop instead. The ball and elbow from the top kick out. As Brian was there to break it up, but. Scarlett was there and now Mello back in. Mello, I, I'm not sure what he was trying to do there, but that was ill-advised going to, going to the apron. Is there looking to finish it? Look at this. Look for the DDTs. Got it. And Scarlett and Brian win this one. What a matchup. As these two celebrate with one another. Once again, another victory for Scarlett and Brian here in our main event. Once again, the lights have gone out here, here at RCW after our main event. You want to see the real me? Bitch, here I am. And I think I recognize that voice. I've heard that before. Oh my god, that's Sky! Sky Outlaw with poetic justice on Scarlet Nova. Sky Outlaw has attacked Scarlet Nova yet again as they look forward to their match at RCW Legacy to settle the score.